Hey guys, it's me, Austin. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, we are going to be exploring my minigame idea. That's right, I thought of a minigame idea. Anyone could take this, but they're not allowed to make a video on it. Unless they're doing it as like, if they're like on a server and stuff, but they can't claim it as their own. They have to say that they got, the, the game idea was made by me, this person, right here. Me, unless someone else has already done something like this, which most likely, maybe, maybe not documented. So here we are. Slow turn review. Jump. This, that's it. That's my mini game idea. Now I know it looks stupid because it's just a block. It's just a box, but it's what it can do that counts. You know. It's what it can do that counts. This structure here isn't a one and done deal. It can be as big and as crazy as you want. This game is meant to be expanded on way further than it should. Let me show you now. Alright, so we have the infinite box. That's I think of a name to be like the test rack box or like the uh the ultra box, but like I just meant infinite because technically that's like the whole deal of the game. It's infinite. Or well that well it isn't infinite, it's just meant to seem like it's infinite. Because of what you can do with it. That's right. <clears throat> okay, so we have ourselves the little entrance area, just a little tiny entrance area, nothing big deal. And we have the chest that you, know, you would pay and get your pass to go in. Now, I forgot to do one thing, but I forgot to put up the lever, you know, to open a door. So I would go in and get my ticket or whatever and open it, and then this would close behind me, of course. And this is the part of the house. Now, this house can be as many things as you want. They can have as many walls, so you can have different furnitures and stuff. But, of course, each room has to have at least a lantern. So, you know, you can have armor stands, you can have different furnitures, you can have carpet, you can have doorways, you can have paintings. You can basically do any Minecraft trick of hiding stuff. You can hide stuff behind the paintings, which in this painting you can't, but I'll show you guys later in a bit. You can also do many different furniture designs. It could be infinite ways of decorating this room. And it all takes by just making it three by three. Three by three infinitely. Meaning that you can make infinite combinations, I guess. Decorations, on the other hand, eh, not so much for infin infinite combinations of it, of uh, furniture until the next Minecraft update, of course. But we're not we're going to get to that later. Basically, you know, you can also hide stuff like this, like you know, of course, like this, because you know, you like, trap doors and stuff. Now, this is mo this is actually based in 1.14. So, there's some of the tricks that, that are here, and some of the furniture designs that you may guys see won't work in some other versions because you know, 1.14, and you know, also, you know, if you guys are in like 1.7.10 or 1.12, you know, any of those lower versions that isn't 1.13, you can't do stuff like this with the trapdoors because you know yeah be yeah, it back to what we're doing all right so to recognize each floor you would have one ladder a ladder that would take you up to the next floor you would go up there and you're searching for something in these rooms like you're not just going to be stuck here infinitely you guys search for something in a limited amount of time i don't know what and i haven't hidden what it is that's because that's a big that's still a process I'm being made of what could actually be the thing like the thing you have to find and stuff, but eh, who cares? It's gonna be pretty good. I know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good mini game. I know it is. I know it will be. It just needs some implementing and stuff into it. So basically you can find things like that. Oh, I know what that's from now. <laughs> you can find doorways, so you can make different hallways and stuff, you can add cobwebs, just to annoy people. You got some different areas and stuff. Be you and also, some rooms could just be empty. I, I forgot that room actually. 
you can just have doors that lead to nowhere, and then you may be wondering, oh yeah, where am I gonna go? But this is why this game is most meant to be played in 1.14 for stupid stuff like this. And here we are, next room. Now, of course, guys, remember, you can do whatever you want, but you have to stick to a specific pattern. You can make walls, doors, and stairs. You you at least have to make a way to get to the ladder. It can't be not like, oh yeah, there's no way to the ladder. You have to uh, break a block. No, you can't do that. That's one thing you can't do. Because, you know, you're not allowed to break blocks. That's the one thing you can't do. You're allowed to interact with them, but not break them. Unless it's redstone, where then, like, redstone ores, which then you can smack it and start breaking it, but don't actually fully break it to, like, get it light up and stuff. Which, you know, that's the thing, you know. But for all you redstoners, you can, that's allowed. Redstone ore and not actually fully breaking it is okay. You're allowed to, you're not allowed to fully break blocks. You're not allowed to go, like, you're, I'm, like, imagine I'm in the survival and you're not allowed to go this. You, you can't. It's not allowed. So, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, up we go to the next floor, and we have a very interesting floor here. We can do whatever we want. We have chests. You can hide stuff in chests that could be used as keys, or you can hide stinking things in there. You can make many different furniture designs. Like this design right here is like kind of like for wine is, you know, the wine, you know, because this is supposed to be like an olden house kind of style. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention you can put it in any style you want? I just put it. I just put it with dark oak and spruce wood because it looks good. So basically you can go for different designs and stuff where like maybe certain things are there. Like this is a like kind of like an elegant house or something. We got doors that go somewhere. We got this weird thing which obviously tells you that you need to go underneath obviously. And you can find secret rooms like this which let's say if there was another floor I would put a ladder here but you don't have to. And then you can also make painting doorways too, of course, you gotta have the old OG painting doorways. But no bed things, like, the, cause you know, like, if you're on a server, that's kind of annoying, you know, if you're on a server, if you do that. So yeah, I just recommend not doing the bed trick in these things, but you could. It's just, yeah. We also have uh, different designs like this, the loom used as the thing, lecterns can be also Oh yeah, I need to put a book there. <laughs> I was like, wait, why can't I interact with this? Oh yeah, it's because I don't have a book. So yeah, like, but let me, let's just head back outside, okay guys? Let's just head back out. There's a core design detail about this. Have you guys noticed it? It's all by three by three. Now my reasoning for doing that is that way you can expand upon it. You see those buttons there? Those are supposed to be the connector joints that you can connect other things to. It's not just gonna be a nine by nine. It's not just gonna be like this, like a Rubik's cube looking thing. You can add as much as you want. That's the point of the thing. And you can have different sections with different themes and styles or blocks. It's supposed to mean to be fun and infinite. Infinite fur designs and everything. You could do modern designs, you can do um you could do rustic designs, you could do like mansion designs, you could do whatever you want. This game, mini game is meant to be fun. Now, the thing is that the only thing about this mini game that cast can say consist has to stay consistent is, well, obviously having an entrance to the ladders. There's actually only two rules about this mini game that have to be followed when building something like this, because then it's not fun and it's unfair. You can't. You have to make an exit, so you have to like have something that you know that's gonna allow you to get out. You can't just be a troll and be like, "Oh yeah, uh, here's your uh, exit key. You now use it on this door, and then bam, uh, you now you're stuck there forever." You can't do something like that, or or you can't, you know, like like, and you have to have an entrance to like the ladders and stuff to get to the ladders. You have to be able to get to the ladders, and the last and final thing, it has to stay by a nine. It has to stay something like this. The rooms can be as big as you want. It's just the problem is, is that you have to stay in a, in a three by three kind of thing, or then the pattern gets all messed up. If you don't stick by making a room, if you want to make a big room, that's okay. You can. You could just take out some pillars and stuff. But you have to stay in a three by three kind of strategy because if you don't, then that messes up the whole pattern and it just ruins the whole build as a whole and the whole mini game. 
part and just making infinite stuff. It has to be a 3x3. Three three. Yes, you can just take an area, make, like, let's say I make a room, like, here's an example. Let me just grab some of this stuff. Let me just grab you and you. Let's say I'm going to make a, uh, let's, let's just do this for example. Alright, so let's say I do this, right, bam, let's just build a little structure, tiny, tiny version of this. We're building a tiny version of this, okay? So let's say um, this whole little thing here is a room. So like, let's just do this as considering as if it's walls. Just make it look like it's walls. Oh, oopsie. I messed up something. One second. I missed up the logical strength of it all. Alright. So yeah, let's just pretend like this is like my stuff and whatever. Slash boop boop. Alright, let's just pretend that this is what I'm doing, you know, and bam, there, there's my, uh, this is my, these, like, just pretend this is a full wall and stuff, pretend this is like a room. So, like, let's say you don't want to have a 3x3 three three room, what you can just easily do is you could just, you have to, like, you still can do this, you have to do this. You can't get rid of these structural parts like this these parts have to stay because that makes it seem like a 3x3. Three, three three. Now if you don't want a 3x3 three three room, so let's say instead of me wanting you know, just having a 3x3 three three room here let's say instead of not, be, not being forced to put a wall there, what you could do let's say if you want to make a like a like a like let's say you want to make these four things into one room. Well, you can easily do that by just doing this you just do this, you break the the middle part of it that connects that is the center point of these these rooms. And then what you do is that you just replace this here with a uh, with this with one of these. With one of these. And then bam. Now you have a room where you have four different spaces. See that's that's not that see that's pretty easy. You just have to keep it in a 3x3 three three sort of format where you have to have this and then bam, this and bam. You just gotta keep it that way so that way it keeps a consistent pattern that doesn't become a problem when trying to make more rooms. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be consistent and, and crazy. It just has to have a 3x3 three three pattern and it has to have entrance. Basically there are only three rules which it has to be which, number one, have an entrance to your ladder. You have to have, you have to get a way to be able to get to the ladder. Number two, there has to be an exit. It has to be a way to get an exit, and you can't be a troll by making people use their exit to get in. And number three, you have to keep by a three by three pattern. Somewhat. You have to keep by the three by three pattern and only make rooms that are by the three, three by three sort of pattern sense. If not, then the whole creative part of being able to add even more rooms gets harder. Now, of course, you couldn't just take this game and then make it crazier and not follow through by through pattern, but this, my type of game has to be this way, just that way, you know, it's easier. Now, the reason is, now, my question is, is that, do you guys think this is a good idea or not? Now, I wish I can get someone else to test this, but, you know, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends that are actually working. I do not want my sister on this computer that much because she's already a pain enough. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this. I think this is a pretty cool mini game idea. It just may need some tweaking and stuff and, you know, everything. You know, it just it needs some stuff and whatever. Like, it needs to be tweaked a bit. It needs some, it has some problems with it right now at the moment. But we'll fix it eventually. So I think it's a pretty cool mini game. Well, I'm thinking actually, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of taking this mini game and making infinite amounts of these. And here's my idea: I make this a mini game show. That's right. I could make this a mini game series where I get YouTubers, Minecraft YouTubers, or just YouTubers in general, and have them play this game and try and find the exit in like a certain amount of time. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention there's a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I could get YouTubers like that. I could just 
like maybe like YouTubers like maybe like Kevin Sparkles, um, Dan to DM, Jerome ASF, you know, all those dudes. All those dudes. Maybe technically. Probably not. <laughs> Still. But yeah, I think that's a pretty cool idea. So yeah, I'll see so ya yeah, guys. Um, what do you think about this? Do you think that's a pretty cool idea, making like a game show based off of the Infinite Cube box? Where then players have to figure out their way out? Of course, it would take a long time to do this because then I would have to make a um, a uh, new world or a new box set up every time. But then I, I can get it to work, I guess. Of course, the next one we're going to. Of course, if I'm going to do this uh, mini game, this mini game show, I'm going to have to get um a new one, a new box, obviously, since I you know I just showed you this combination of boxes. I can't. I can't show you guys unless they're playing. You know, you gotta do that. So yeah. So yeah, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.